Hello to everyone. Today we'll learn how to add monsters in your server, in your maps. So I'm going to use this website, uh, this uh, server files, Titans Tech, SCFMT, however you call them. And it doesn't matter really which server files you're going to use. So you need to know about two things monster txt file and monster set base I have the client here and I'm on this lower market map it doesn't really matter which map are you adding monsters but we'll add them here so depends firstly which monsters you want to add because if you open monster set base you will see this thing here NPC traps or guards have different code structure spots also different code structure normal monsters uh, event monsters or different event monsters these uh, event monsters like golden bone king and monsters which respawn every like two three six hours those are just event monsters like you know respawning monsters event respawning event monsters and blood castle is just another event which has a special map that's why so the thing is it's easier if you go to an empty space and copy these example for example let's say I'm going to copy this, I'm going to make it custom monsters added and then we need this alright that means now here in this space we can add how many monsters we want but we need to learn first do we need to add spots or monsters one by one? The difference is if you add one by one, they will spawn one by one. And if you add um, like a spot with coordinates range, then that's going to uh, you can add like how many monsters you want to respawn. In the same in the same spot, maybe fifty, maybe hundred, doesn't matter. All right, so let's add some monsters. I'm going to monsters txt, and we can just I don't know. We can just use any monster we like, but golden monsters and some uh, bows monsters will not work probably because they are. Uh, golden monsters they appear usually only on golden invasion for example and the boss monsters also on the events but they also appear the the problem is they don't look like for example if you want to respawn a boss of kundun which is 275 the mob id map number it's 70 let me see what is it here learn market actually you can hmm, let me give you a list with the map codes which is somewhere here map where is misc move list or something like that oh it's here move ID maps alright so this is the maps I've got on my season 6 server and uh, we have here Lauren Market which is where is it Lauren Market Lauren Market we don't have it here I don't know why but I know for sure we can find it you can just map codes and your line blah, blah, blah. and there are so many things threads where you can find monster um, map codes Lauren market 
anyways we don't care about the lower market because you cannot add monsters there usually I'm just uh, going to add it here is 79 lower market and we're going to test now so we not we need to add for example a boss that means we go there on the spot 275 which is Kundu map 79 which lower market radio it's how how far away the monster can walk like go away if you set it to five this is going to be in coordinates so five coordinates that means one two three four five and this is the circle of the monster where it will walk but if there's a player the monster will follow the player all right chord is the first chord which means let's use this chord 150 210 150 210 and the chord x2 it's for example 150 210 until 156 210 the deer doesn't matter because it's a monster so it will just respond in any direction how many monsters let's say five and then we got the name which is whatever you want now we'll have to try now we need kundun five kundun monsters you save this and you reload it from your game server so there we are like I said, Kundum works because it's on the same, on the same um, game server map code or something, and he's very, he's working very well, as we can see here. Oh gosh, I think he responds every second or something. So as you see, there's only a few monsters, boss monsters, which will not respond correctly, and this is, for example. Balgas, Balgas, uh, Nightmare, um, Dark Elf, and so on, because they will respond differently. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, where is? Um, let's use Nightmare. Nightmare ID is three hundred sixty-one. Like I said, in Monster TXT, you can find the Monster IDs 361. Now I'm going to change to 361, save it, reload, and you will see now the monster will respond differently. It will not respond as a nightmare, it will respond as a bullfighter because it's an event monster and uh, it's in a special map which is Kanturu the new the place the refinery whatever the same applies to the to 20 to the server 20 which is castle siege crywolf but it still responds so that's not a problem except golden monsters they will not respond that's a standard thing but there are ex exceptions on some server files anyways so we are these monsters and now you learned how to add spots but you can still use this function and add monster one by one and you can change the monster code anytime you want so if I put monster code I don't know, let's see a normal monster which will be like 70 Queen Rainier 70 then you reload and there you go we got one monster here and then we got this Queen Rainier simple there's nothing so crazy about monster spots so now we learn how to use how to find monsters from your monster txt only because this is the only monsters which your server has and secondly we learn how to add spots and we made a custom code area 
on the most set base. Now let's go down here and you can see this is something different here. Okay. So you see here every every monster is singly single like is one only. This is for blue castle we go for something like Kanturu or something like that. Let me find something. It doesn't matter, so go on. let's go Tarkan. Okay. So you see here it says two and and then the monster. This is a map. This is how many coordinates it can walk away. And this is the coordinates where the map should appear. So if I move over here to 7205, I will see beam night 100%. Move in 7 services services 8.7.205 and then I'm going to reload I'm going to reload and then we need to see beam night there it is there it is so it's just a single monster but usually you will not need to add single monsters it's better to add spots okay but be careful because you see here a lot of mobs 8000 around 8000 maximum is 11500 so be careful with the limits all right now let's learn about the monsters okay a monster has a config config file on monster txt and it has specific regen time, respawn time. Let's say a bullfire it says here red time two seconds. Everything you see here it's seconds. If uh, if you see ten thousand eight hundred, that means it's a boss monster. That means it's the shadow of Kundu. 10,800 in seconds it's like 6 or 12 hours um, seconds I think it's yeah let's see yeah 3 hours I don't know I'm not good at math so you can convert seconds to hours and hours to seconds so if you want a monster to respawn every 1 hour in seconds you just change 3600 and put it on here on reg time so you don't need anything else here this is a only basic monsters adding way and yeah I don't know if you want to know any, anything else uh, like I said usually you, know, you, know, you will need to add spots and normal monsters but spot easier you can add more than the usual like I did here you can add like 100 or 50 or I don't know maybe, maybe the maximum is 150 I don't know I didn't test but it doesn't matter because you can still add up as much as you as much as you want so we we learned how to add monsters the monster ID we get it from monster txt Yeah, we are 361 is nightmare as we checked and then 70 is just different you know queen rainier and yeah that's it i mean it's easy to add monsters you can really add differently like one by one but i don't recommend it because here you go with a diff uh, with a cool feature you can add spots directly and it will not have to be really uh, uh, it's gonna be going to be faster because you can put a range from which coordinates to which coordinates you want the monsters to appear if you understand what I mean 150 210 
until 156 to 210 the monsters will appear on this row on this line of the coordinates and be careful with these mistakes if you save it this way this will crash the game server if you save um, wrong map it will give you an error um, too many monsters will give you an error if you don't put anything here like forget it will give you an error so be careful and yeah that's it it's easy to add monsters I'm just doing this tutorial for beginners and I hope you learn from this and yeah just enjoy making spots and whatever um, like I told you it's easy just focus on the, the radio so if you don't want the monsters to disappear from the map they go far away just make it like three coordinates of five and uh, the same with um, boss monsters if you want them to appear every second or something you can still change it on rec time every monster has a rec time respawn time and you just change it from here all right thanks for watching again if you have questions just comment below and if you like this video just subscribe for new videos and you can just leave me any, any idea you want about tutorials and i will try to do my best all right thanks and enjoy your new year